people park right here. Come here. Okay. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I haven't seen you for a while. Oh! 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 You know, a little bird flew by one day and just... Oh, it's a Dan, right? Yeah, Danny. Oh, Danny. Gosh, it's good to see you. Yeah. Same here. Gosh. Same here. Hey. Hi. I brought my wife. Good to see you. Her name's Kathleen. I don't know if you remember I her. wouldn't have not remembered that, but the face <laughs> I remember. Golly, what a long time it's yeah. been. Hey, there's a reason he's here. Why's that? Think about it. Oh no, I don't know what. Oh really? You can't figure it out? Help me out! <laughs> Where's mine? In my pocket. Oh! So you know what that means? What? You can't figure this yeah, out? Yeah, you're going to marry me again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> marry me again. <laughs> I've been planning this for months. No big deal. No big deal. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. <laughs> I wanted to surprise you. You know how many times <laughs> I wanted to tell you. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Wow. Okay, those are so pretty. Yellow roses. Where'd you get the cups? Inside? We come here on this occasion, Steve and Kim to renew the vows to pray that you will continue to grow in your relationship one to another. 22 years is a long time. You've probably seen a lot of little humps and bumps over the way. And you've weathered, weathered those storms of life. And so we come today to remind ourselves that there may be some more bumps and jiggles, squiggles, whatever else in life. But we come to those and we commit ourselves to one another in a special occasion. Let us hear from God's Word found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I am a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge. And if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love does not insist on its own way. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it too will pass away. For our knowledge is imperfect and our prophecy is imperfect. But when perfect, the perfect one comes, the imperfect will pass away. I reasoned like a child, but when I became an adult, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall fully understand, even as I have fully been understood. So, faith, hope, love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Let's pray. Dear God, I come to you today to ask on behalf of this couple, Steve and Kim, that you would guide them in the years that lie ahead. That their faith in you and in your son Jesus Christ will go deeper, as well as the relationship they have one with another. May they be encouragers of one another. May they find the grace, the faith, and the hope to sustain them 
through the days that lie ahead. May they be able to, as they have done in the past, to weather the storms, the difficulties, the trials of life, and yet maintain faith and the hope and the love, the grace and the mercy that they need to continue down life's road and to grow even deeper in their relationship one with another. Guide us now as we share together in this recommitment, continued commitment of their lives one to another. It's through Christ our Lord that we ask and pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Steve and Kim, God since the beginning of time, has shown his concern for marriage. He began his marriage, his ministry, in of all places, at a marriage feast in Cana of Galilee. God joined Adam and Eve together in marriage. God gave the laws by which marriage was to be governed. And Jesus, when he began his ministry, as I said, began it in Cana of Galilee at a marriage feast. The Apostle Paul speaks of marriage in, a, in reference to Christ and to his church. In fact, he calls the church his bride. So the church is the bride of Christ, just, and he calls upon the man to love his wife as Jesus loves the church. Marriage is truly, as you have found already, a wonderful happening in life. It can bring you many hours of happiness and joy, especially when you allow God's Son, Jesus Christ, to possess your very lives. Something I would encourage you to continue to do. Because without the Lord moving in your hearts and your lives, things will not be as good as they can be when you make your, your commitment to the Lord as well as to one another. God's Word teaches us that the husband must love, honor, cherish his wife, and that she in return must love, cherish, and honor her husband. Each of you need to forsake everyone else. You must be willing to stay with one another in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow until death do you part. The Oak Ridge Boys had a song, I don't know you guys, are you yeah. country guys? Country part music? time. <laughs> part time. Well, they had a song in which they recorded about love. And it says in the song that it takes a little rain to make love grow. A very important principle for both of you to continue to remember as you continue to live out your lives together. They also say that where the sun always shines, there, there's a desert below. So remember that the sun won't always shine in your marriage, but when the rain comes, the struggles, the difficulties, the problems, the anxieties of life that we face, that those are to help you to grow in a deeper relationship one with another. I want to remind you as you have... It takes 100% on each of your parts. And in fact, there may be times when it may take more than that on one of the other's part to help you to walk through whatever situation you might come in contact with. Marriage is a commitment, as you are fully well aware. If you have both duly considered the responsibility, relationship, commitment, and renewing today of your vows, would you please manifest the same by joining hands? Would you repeat after me, please? I, Steve. I, Steve. Take you, Kim. Take you, Kim. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my <laughs> lawfully wedded husband. Or wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've only done this before. I know. <laughs> you haven't had that much experience. That's right. I have. <laughs> will be my husband. <laughs> I... Switch roles. <laughs> Let's switch roles. <laughs> Daddy going too. To continue from this day forward. To continue from this day forward. To honor. To honor. And cherry. And cherish. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And I will continue forsaking all others. And I will continue forsaking all others. I will keep myself to you, Kim. I will keep myself to you, Kim. And to you only. And to you only. 
As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now, Kim. I, Kim. I, Kim. Take you, Steve. Take you, Steve. To be my lawfully wedded husband. <laughs> to be my... <laughs> lawfully. Lawfully wedded husband. To continue to have and to hold. To continue to have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In richer, for richer and poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And continue to forsake all others. And continue to forsake all others. I will keep myself to you. I will keep myself to you. And to you only. And to you only. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Steve, would you have these vows further sealed by the gift of a ring? Would you place that ring in my finger's hand? Thank you. I want you to know, Steve, that as you place this ring upon the wedding finger of your bride, as you do so, remember that this ring has no beginning nor ending. And being a precious metal, it should remind you of the precious love that you have for her. Kim, would you have these vows further sealed by the gift of a ring? Yes. <clears throat> would you also take this ring, and as you do, remember, put it on the wedding finger of your continued groom, that this ring has no beginning nor ending, and it also symbolizes your unending love for this man. And being a precious metal, it should remind you of the precious love that you have for him. Yeah. <laughs> Got to push. Yeah, if, if, you, if you can't get it on there, watch. You go. There you go. It happens all the time in every wedding. Okay. There we're, we go. We're, we're at the renewing of vows. That's what I understand. <laughs> And I don't have 200 people sitting out there looking at me. How is he going to get the ring on? She can't get the ring on break finger or whatever. So, so with the giving of these rings, you do each the other remind yourselves of your unending love one for another. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, God's only begotten Son, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you do recommit yourselves one to another this day pledge your allegiance one to another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me kiss the Ready? Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Do I need to turn it for you? Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary <laughs> to you. Happy anniversary, <laughs> Stephen Kim. Oh, Happy you. anniversary to you. And many more. <laughs> Are you going to feed it to each other? No. <laughs> I know him too well. <laughs> I don't trust her.